okay, I've been out here a little while. The bliss tool out in this hunted out schoolyard. I think I've gotten all the silver, right? That would be wrong. Just pulled out another one. It'd be a Merrick. Silver number 22 on the year. That is awesome. It's uh, supper time, so I'm going to get out of here, but uh, we'll be back again. Yeah, I'm on South Factory Street. Get the big 15 inch coil, Xterra 705. It's the first for me, my first watch band and watch together. Now we're only trying to dig uh, solid good signals here. Try to avoid the trash as much as possible. I'm thinking this might be a whistle. Maybe. We'll clean her up, see what it looks like. But I think that's what that is an old metal whistle. Okay, we've been digging only the high targets, and so far we've avoided the trash pretty much. D dig this iffy one here, and it ended up being a pocket knife, which I'm very happy with. It looks like an old one. I'll have to see if there's any writing on it. Sometimes they're commemorative knives. Okay, here's what we come up with, a short little hunt here. You can tell uh, this place hasn't been hunted because you can get quarters and dimes pretty easily. Got about a dollar thirty one or so and change couple I right, don't think I got any Wheaties this one or this one is a possibility this mystery item here I'll uh, clean that up at home this whistle which I thought was pretty neat watch with band old pocket knife uh, not bad for like a half hour hunt Xterra 705 separated targets well I did dig some junk it was like two mid conductors I dug thinking they were absolute nickels and they weren't ended up with a pull tab and uh, something else in there and all in all not too much trash I know there's silver in here because I dug silver last year out of here just a matter of getting to it okay and our next target here down now this one was down there about five six inches or so as you can see it's a very good looking weedy the uh, side with the date on it, of course, has all the uh, patina. We'll see if we can get that off. It looks like uh, usually when they're uh, in that good of shape, they're usually in the 40s and 50s, but you never know. Okay, got our next target. Our uh, memory on our phone's getting pretty full. I think that's wood underneath. I'm pretty sure that's a cane top. Right there, I don't know if it has a specific name, but it was down there about 7 or 8 inches. It was down there pretty good. Uh, it's the first one of those I've dug. Okay, we got a ring. Our memory's almost gone in this phone, so we got a ring. Okay, here's a lesson. You dig up a target, you think it's a piece of can slaw, right? Check this out. It's actually a ring. Kind of folded up. But it's ring uh, number 10, I believe. Not, all right, you take an iffy signal, you dig out the plug. All of a sudden you got 38.40 and it sounded pretty good. We dig her out see what we got. Alright, we got her got her out of the plug. Ended up being a greenie. And I scanned the hole, I kept getting the same signal. And it was right here on the edge, I got another one. Pays to check your hole. Uh, the other day I got one out of here, ended up being a 46 Indian. Uh, we'll have to scan the hole again, I hope. I think that's it though. Okay, down in the hole there, see we got something green, I just oh, flipped it over, something else green underneath it, so we got a little coin spill here, at least two coins that I know, of. oh that may not be a coin, I thought I had a coin spill, anyways, that'd be a buffalo nickel, which is awesome, I got quite a few of these so far this year. Do a quick scan, see if there's anything else in the hole. Nope, that's it. Alright, we had a little squeaker here. Open the, the uh, hole up and you see this rust. You think uh, nothing good in the hole, right? That would be incorrect. There's uh, something very silver-like looking at me. It's like a silver dime. 
What's it going to be? See if you guys can guess it right. I guess it's a Merc. And I would be incorrect. It's a little silver rosy. That's awesome. Silver number 23. Okay, dug around. We got the iron object. Rusty nail in the same hole. Good job, Xterra 705. Okay, I'm gonna call it a day at this hunted out school. Did pretty good with the Xterra today. Uh, we got this one really good looking weedy. I think it's a 41 at our ring. Got five uh, other greenies, which will probably be wheats, maybe an Indian if we're lucky. Buffalo nickel, silver rosy. It's not bad for a couple hours. Oh, and our trash. We didn't, we didn't dig all that much trash this time. We did pretty good. Until next time. Okay, I just dug something. It was down about five inches. It got me kind of curious. It looks like a penny-ish, but it's actually smaller than a dime. It's tiny. I suppose it could be a button. I don't see any shank or anything, but that it's got to be a button. I, I can't think of any coin that would be all green like that. I mean, if it was a half dime, it'd be silver. Wouldn't be looking like that. All right, I've been out here this evening, a couple hours after supper. Um, not knowing if I'd get anything. Got a weedy, a couple nice buttons, a couple pennies and stuff. And uh, just about done. Look who shows up. Silver number 24. That'd be a Merc. See if you can read the year. I can't quite read it. If it'll focus, maybe you guys can make it out. Anyway, I'll have it when I get it cleaned up. But that's silver number 24. That's awesome. Okay, we got everything cleaned up. And this is our wrap up. Uh, a lot of the footage was lost. Uh, my camera died. The battery in it wouldn't take a charge anymore. So uh, I ended up doing some footage with the phone, as you can see from the video. And I got a replacement, a used camera off eBay. Pretty cheap. Um, and so we got our stuff cleaned up. Here's our, our clad and our pennies and stuff. And a couple of these things here. Never really sure what these are. Little tags to go on something. So, And uh, one of these shell casings, like I've dug before, and... Somebody was asking me what year they are, and uh, 46 is the year on them, from the uh, Federal Ammunition Company. A couple mystery items, uh, this necklace with a butterfly thing. This thing here I thought was a ring, but it's too flat, and it's so I think it's just some type of gasket or washer for something. And another big mystery item, who knows thing I thought was a whistle ended up being like a toy car. Once you got off all the mud off it, it didn't look like a whistle anymore. And a pocket knife, uh, pretty bad shape. Uh, cane top, and I was pretty happy to get that. That's something you don't dig every day. A watch, cheap watch, stainless steel band. Did end up with two rings, junk rings, one of these mood rings. And a really junky kid's ring with a little bear on it. And the buttons. Just a little jubby. This one here was that tiny thing we thought was uh we thought it was uh, like a small coin. Remember it was all green? I, and it ended up being uh I think it what's it say on it? It it's from an old production company that made cameras and stuff back in the forties and fifties. It's like a qualifier badge for for uh, to be able to run the cameras, I guess. And we got a this I thought was a button when I dug it, but it ends up it says uh, it says a uh, doctor of motors on it. And on the back there, it's got a threaded uh, piece instead of uh, like a shank for a button. This one here is a button. Fairly nice one. It's a two-piece button. 
I haven't deciphered the emblem on this one. Here's another two-piece one with a hand standing there, and I can't tell if he's holding a lantern or, or what, if this is like an old railroad button or something to that effect. And uh, another nice button we got. Um, this is like uh, off a of blazer, but it's the, uh, a replica of a uh, Haitian button from the Revolutionary War. This is a two-piece button, probably made in the early 1900s, but it's an exact replica of that and it says something uh, in God uh, we trust or so something to that effect and I was pretty happy with that now down to the good stuff got a pile of Wheaties a lot of the Wheaties are in rough shape I got a, like a 1911 in there and I got a 1917 ended up with three buffaloes this one's the only one with a date it's a 36 buffalo this one, of course, is the uh, the date happened to be the worst place on the whole coin, and this one's just completely worn off. Believe it or not, that's a 1846 Indian. Now, I had it in peroxide because there's so much patina on it, and I, I I think I could probably clean it up and get that date visible again. But it is an 1846, believe it or not. And there are three silvers. 1940 Mercs and 52 Rosie. Three more silvers. It's silver 22, 23, and 24 in the year. Setting a pile up. I'm hunting out sites that I think are hunted out. I keep going in. I keep getting silver. I keep getting buttons. Now and then some jewelry, some buffaloes. So uh, I'm going to keep hitting them uh, during the summer here while it's hot. It's You can't dig on people's lawns or anything like that because. Uh, It'll start to turn yellow, the spots you dig, and it's just tough. i got to wait until probably September to get back into some of the older sites. But uh, some of the farmers are hay fields, and we might get out there for a hunt or two, and of course the water hunts, we've got to get out there some more too.